Now, eight traumatic days for little Timana's family finally ended early on Monday morning. The mortal remains of the little boy was handed over to them. Six-year-old Tim Manna fell into a bow well in Sulikere in Bagal Court on August 3rd. Eight days later, his body was extricated. Even as the government stopped rescue operations, the Advocate General permitted operations to remove the body. It started at around 4 p.m. on Sunday and ended at 2 this morning. <laughs> 4 p.m. Sunday. Manikandan's robot deployed. The robot did not prove effective. Manikandan's efforts, as well as that of the National Disaster Management Authority, went in vain. 9 p.m. Sunday, air compressor device fails. This device was employed thrice, but this too failed to help in extricating the body. 12 midnight, Bowell casing pipe sent 170 meters into Bowell. 1.50 a.m. Monday. Water rushed into the casing pipe. The mortal remains of the little boy floated up because of the high pressure of water. The district hospital doctors present there conducted the autopsy and handed over the mortal remains to Timmanna's family. Manna was cremated near the bow well. District Commissioner P. Meghna, District in Charge Minister S. R. Patil and Resident MLA H. Y. Methi were present at the cremation. Timanna's father, Hanumantappa Hatti, thanked the government for its efforts. <laughs> Although it took eight long days, there was finally a sense of closure for Timmanna's family. Suresh, News 9, Bagal Court. Well, there seems to be a race to the top as far as the BJP is concerned. Three names are reportedly in the run. Now, here's a report on that development. The newly appointed boss of the Saffron Party, Amit Shah, wants to have a new team in place and there are vacancies for the party's national secretary. One of the national secretaries was Anant Kumar who has now been elevated as a union chemical and fertilizers minister. Three names from Karnataka are being spoken of. One of the three is Arvind Limbavali, the MLA representing Mahadevapura constituency in Bengaluru. He had a brief stint as a minister under B.S. Yadurappa. The other name is C.T. Ravi, Another BJP legislator and also former minister. He is currently the legislator from Chikmagalur. The third name floating around is that of Vishweshwar Hegade Kageri, another former minister and MLA from Sirsi. It is believed that Arvind Limbavali has a slight edge among the three. Will Limbavali find favor with Amit Shah? Only time will tell. A News 9 report. Now the BJP's great showing in Bihar in the recently concluded Lok Sabha polls has alerted its regional rivals in the state. 
Lalu Prasad Yadav and Nitish Kumar today formally joined hands to put up a united front against the Saffron Party in the upcoming Assembly elections. They were the best of friends. Then they became bitter enemies. Now, after two decades, they join hands again. Well, we are talking about the historic coming together of Lalu Prasad Yadav's RJD and Nitish Kumar's JDU. This is what Nitish Kumar said while addressing a rally in Hajipur today. पिछले कई दिनों से मीडिया में और समाचार पत्रों में ये अटकलें लगाई जा रही थी कि लालू जी के साथ नीतीश जाएंगे कि नहीं जाएंगे दोनों एक साथ मंच साझा करेंगे कि नहीं करेंगे इस बात को लेकर रहने के अनेक अटकलें लगाई जा रही आज सभी अटकलों पर विराम लग गया है हम एकजुट हों अलग अलग हमारी जितनी भी ताकत है हम अपनी ताकत को एक करेंगे Once bitter enemies, both Lalu Prasad Yadav and Nitish Kumar were seen sharing the dais and hugging each other in the rally. The embarrassing drubbing in this year's Lok Sabha elections has forced the two leaders to come together once again to defeat their common enemy, the BJP. Addressing the rally, Lalu said that both leaders belong from the same family. हम ठीक हैं हम बिखर गए थे, बट गए थे, लड़ गए थे. लेकिन इन्हीं चीजों को अगर हम कोसते रहेंगे ढूंढते रहेंगे तो देश बहुत गलत हाथों में चला गया नाउ अहेड ऑफ द असेंबली इलेक्शन इन द स्टेट बोथ पार्टीज हैव जॉइंट हैंड्स अंडर अ सीट शेयरिंग पैक्ट फॉर द अपकमिंग बाय इलेक्शन इन द स्टेट द बाईपोल्स विल बी हेल्ड फॉर टेन असेंबली सीट्स बोथ आर जे डी एंड जे डी यू हैव अग्री टू कंटेस्ट फॉर फोर सीट सीट वाल द कांग्रेस विल कंटेस्ट इन टू सीट्स ऑल द थ्री पार्टीज हैव कम टूगेदर इन द स्टेट विद द इंटेंशन टू स्टॉल बीजेपीज ब्रिलियन शोइंग 20 years back it was Nitish Kumar who broke the alliance with Lalu's RJD and now it is again Nitish Kumar who sought support from Lalu even as the parties are gearing up for the bipoles the BJP means no words in criticizing the flip flop stance of the parties the two leaders of the state of Bihar Mr Lalu Yadav and Mr Nitish Kumar after 20 years are coming on one stage where it's a fact it's a lust of power and threat of defeat which has brought them together those who were sworn enemies nitish ji had gone to an extent of saying the jungle raj and we are going to throw the jungle raj now he has himself walked into the jungle and embraced the jungle raj so uh, it is an after effect of their defeat and it is also a word message of vote bank politics on the other hand the congress and the ncp welcomed the move Well what has impelled this situation is the specter of communalism and fundamentalism which is looming large over the country so therefore all progressive secular and pluralistic forces have been compelled to rethink and come together in order to fight this menace of communalism and therefore uh, what is happening in bihar uh, is an experiment uh which should be uh, replicated in other parts of the country also ha to ye to uh baat hai jab gal bandal hua hai to saaja campaign to karenge aur mera khayal hai ki is rodi mein tha to ye ek achhi baat hai achhi shuruaat hai the bjp's opposition parties are leaving no stone unturned to defeat them in bihar assembly elections due next year But will ending the decades old rivalry work magic for Lalu and Nitish? Will they be able to stall the BJP in its tracks in Bihar? A news now report. Well, an incident at a temple on Sunday had its effect on the whole of Ramnagar today. Many responded to the bun call in the district. This was the situation in Ramnagar today. Many shops had brought down their shutters. They feared violent reactions from Hindu organizations who called for a bund in the district. Even though the situation is calm, commercial establishments, 
ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಂದಾಗಿದೆ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ The bond was called to protest against the desecration of Arkeshwara temple on Sunday. The miscreant had allegedly damaged the temple dome and the door. It is learned that he has also strewn pieces of meat on the premises. Clashes broke out in the district following the incident. Activists of Hindu organizations protested in the temple premises and demanded strict action against the culprit. The police arrested the youth and took him into custody. ಈಗ ಅವಾಗಲೇ ಘಟನೆ ನಡೆದು ನಮ್ಮ ಹಿಂದೂ ಭಾವನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಹಿಂದೂ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವರು ಅಲ್ಲೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಿಂದೂ ಭಾವನೆಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ According to the police the arrested youth was under the influence of drugs when he performed his action the police have assured that suitable action will be taken Prashant News 9 Ramnagar Now with Sri Kanta Datta Narasimha Raja Odia no more the festival of Dasara this time will be a different affair what actually is the change well let's find out The elephants which are supposed to take part in the world famous Mysore Dasara celebrations will not be welcomed at the palace this time around. As per tradition, every year the elephants would be welcomed at the Jai Martanda entrance of the palace by the district administration in a ceremonial manner, but this time it will be different. 14th August belage 10 rinda 11 gante nadue Nagapura Hadi dalli gaja payana start maartta idivi. Adralli first batch dalli 6 anegalu bartta ide. ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇದೆ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಭವನ್ಗೆ ಆನೆಗಳು ಬಂದು ಸೇರ್ತೇವೆ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾ ದೇವಿ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠದತ್ತ ಒಡೆಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿಡೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೂತಕ ಆರ್ ರಫ್ಲಿ ಅ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಅಶೋಕಾಪುರಂ ರಾಜಮಾರ್ಥಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅರಮನೆಗೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಬಂತು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅವ್ರ ಭಾವನೆಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಹಾಗೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಸರ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಭವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅರಮನೆ ಬದಲು ಅದಂತೂ